Hey, it's Dr. Travis Whitney, founder at Innate Healthcare Institute. And in this video, we are gonna go over how do umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells improve longevity in diseases. So this will kind of be a basic biology summary. Really, if, if we got down into the nitty gritty on all this, this would be an hour long presentation easily to go over all the biology and physiological functions of stem cells. Um, but these MSDs are, are, are making huge gains in uh, the therapeutic world. And so people are really curious, well, man, I, I gotta, you know, it's not a supplement, it's not a plant, it's, it's cell medicine. I, how, how does this stuff work? Um, so we're gonna go over some of that right now, okay? One of the first mechanisms that umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells are, are popular for is their tissue repair and regeneration. Uh, these stem cells can differentiate into various types of cells, such as osteoblasts, which, which help make up our bones, chondrocytes, which uh, are cells that turn into cartilage in our joints, and even fat and muscle cells. So they can help repair and regener regenerate these damaged or lost types of tissues. A second mechanism is called paracrine signaling. So this happens every day in our body. This is how a lot of hormones in our bodies communicate with, with cells. And the stem cells, they can release various growth factors and other kinds of signaling molecules that can promote tissue repair and regeneration. So these signaling molecules can also modulate the immune system. They can help reduce inflammation. They can promote healing to the cells in the surrounding environment. So it's, it's actually, this is over the years, the most recent years has become one of the key mechanisms as to why we think stem cells are doing such an amazing job of repairing our bodies. A third mechanism is called immunomodulation. So this one's kind of simple. This is the stem cells basically communicating with our immune system. So our immune system is not just for uh, when you're sick and, or you get a virus or a bacteria and it fights it off. The immune system has a ton of influence on our body. Everything how we, to how we feel and how we, how we age and even our mental and emotional states. Uh, so these stem cells have been shown to modulate the immune response uh, directly, which can help reduce inflammation and promote more healing. And another recent advance in medicine is, is everything has seems to be doing with inflammation, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, diabetes. These are all getting labeled as diseases of inflammation. So having that capability is really nice in umbilical cord stem cells. A fourth way is called telomere maintenance, or sometimes referred to as telomeres. Telomeres, uh, these are uh, uh, pr protective repetitive sequences that are found on the end of the chromosomes in our body. Um, they shorten as we age and the shortening of it is really is, has been associated with aging and, and age related diseases. So naturally we want to find a way to keep those telomeres along and protect our chromosomes and our genetic information. And so some studies have shown that uh, stem cells may help to maintain the telomere length. Oh, which is really, really neat to think that one day we could age a lot slower and more gracefully. Number five is the prevention of oxidative stress. Uh, so some, some studies have shown that stem cells may have antioxidant type properties that can help to prevent oxidative stress on the on a cell and at the cellular level. And oxidative stress uh, stress has been shown to be a major cause of aging. It leads to damage of uh, different cells and tissues. That in the recent years has been showing um, a lot to do with putting a lot of stress on our body and how damaging it can be. The sixth one is probably my favorite and one of the most recent uh, advances in, in stem cell physiology is the transfer of mitochondria. Uh, so our mitochondrial uh, is, is if you remember in biology is kind of like your cell powerhouse. It makes the energy uh, for our body to use. Uh, so stem cells uh, improving mitochondrial functions and it, it improves the cellular performance. Uh, it in, includes protein translation uh, of respiratory complexes, uh, ROS overexpression, mitochondrial membrane potential, mitochondrial morphology and bioenergetics 
cell proliferation, so cells dividing and, and making more uh, more cells, mitochondrial dependent viability, and, and apoptotic resistance. So being able to resist healthy cells from dying. And another neat uh, a bonus mechanism is the stem cell's ability to kill off senescent cells. And so basically sometimes cells will sit around in our body and they're called zombie cells. And for a good reason, they take up resources and they just don't end up dying. And so there's been some evidence that stem cells kill off these senescent cells. So that's a, uh, a good brief overview of, of some of the ways that we think that these uh, umbilical cord stem cells are improving longevity, are improving uh, the diseases in our body. There's actually a really cool uh, study published in Nature, um, oh man, quite a few years ago now, where they've, uh, they took a couple, uh, one old mice and they took a young mi mouse and they sutured them together so that they shared a blood supply. And what happened was the young mouse got older and the older mouse got younger. So this is a really cool groundbreaking study that they uh, concluded it had, they thought it had to have been something with the stem cell expression that uh, this young mice was picking up on all the old uh, material in the older mouse and was making stem cells uh, to fix all this, but those cells and their secretions were end up going over through the blood supply into the old mouse and it was actually making it younger. Uh, so really cool stuff, uh, really cool stuff coming out in the future. So hit subscribe and you can be uh, updated on all the cool advances in cell medicine and stem cell medicine. And then leave a comment below if you like the video or if there's any questions that you would like us to, uh, to answer in the future. Um, Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.